The suspended resident electoral commissioner of Adama State, Huduari, has failed to appear before a Yola High Court. The Independent National Electoral Commission had filed six offenses against him for offenses committed during the 2023 general election. Correspondent Joel Abia Denusi filed in this report. The Ademawa State High Court was filled to capacity as many interested parties were in the court to have a glimpse of the controversial state electoral commissioner, Hudu Yunusa, who declared the APC governorship candidate winner of the last governorship polls. The Independent National Electoral Commission accused the suspended resident electoral commissioner, Hudu Yunusa Ari, and his charity of avoiding arrest. The electoral body's legal representative, a senior advocate of Nigeria, Rotimi Jacobs, conveyed this to the Adamawa State High Court, presided over by Justice Benjamin Manjilowan. He explained that the prosecution had been unable to arraign Hudu Adi due to their inability to apprehend him. During the resumed court session on Monday, the prosecutor counsel Rotimi Jacobs revealed that the defendant had declined an invitation from the investigative police office after being served with a hearing notice. Responding to questions, INEC counsel Rotimi Jacobs described Hudu Ari as a fugitive who was actively evading authorities. The defendant has been evasive. He, you can't arrest him, you can't get him. He's been hiding and um, the lawyers have been encouraging him to do so, so unfortunately. So that's what, where we find ourselves. So because the case is using against uh, arraignment, he's not a party in that, in that case. And even in that case, he have been in the, the persons who went to court lost. So we won against the person. So what, why should he be writing a letter to court asking for dates, asking for adjournment? based on the case that he was not a party. Neither Udu Ari nor his counsel appeared in court to defend the six allegations raised by INEC. The allegations are announcing false electoral results, violating the oath of neutrality, breaching his duty, engaging in disorderly conduct during elections, inciting disturbance, and personating a public servant. The court has adjourned the proceedings to November 22nd for further hearings on the matter.